Never in my 18 years in Chicago have I ever seen a tornado actually reach the city. Apparently one touched down near here and we've got trees down everywhere. Hope my car is okay. I, I heard some buildings had roofs blown off. So bigger picture, I'm, I'm really hoping my new roof is still intact. So let's go find out. We're gonna pick up right where we left off in the last reno video. And in case you missed that one, we removed a huge steel staircase. And this was a third staircase, so I didn't need it anymore. And removing it reclaimed a ton of floor space. First thing up in this video is to fill in that hole in the floor we created when we removed the staircase. Now this is something where the architect has specified a bunch of structural requirements. I don't wanna get in trouble when the inspector comes. So I'm hiring out this part. We've got guys coming to fill that in. And before they get here, I got to do a little bit more demo to tear down the ceiling and clear out the sides of that opening. Okay down there? Just kidding, no one's down there. Moshi, moshi. I think we're gonna have to finish knocking down this false ceiling from below, so that means it's hard to have time. That was just the light switch. Don't worry. No problem. Tony, how you doing? He's, uh, he's gonna be doing all the framing and stuff. So as you can see, we're gonna start framing this opening right now. It's where the, uh, the oh, staircase no. used to be. We're gonna do a new fill with joists at two by 12s and two by 10s for a new platform. And it's where the new bathroom is gonna be for the second floor, so stay tuned. Dude, I don't even need to be on this channel anymore. You guys gotta all cover right. <laughs> So behind me is where we built in the floor to fill the hole where that third staircase used to be. After looking at it, we decided that we wanted to change the layout a little bit. The stairs were gonna come out of the door and into the main living area, but we decided to actually set the stairs starting with the first step inside the door and actually going back up in there. get to the very edges here with uh, reciprocating saw, circular saw. I'm going to have to come back with a handsaw, which I don't have here right now. So we're probably putting this on pause and you'll see the stairs finish down the road when we're doing some other stuff because I've got enough hogged out now that we can finish doing the stairs with only access from above and no access from below, which means I can put the CNC in. And that, that was the main goal of taking this out now. Quick interjection from future me. I realize I'm talking a lot about a CNC in this video and some of my viewers might not even know what a CNC is. CNC stands for Computer Numeric Control and I'm getting a huge CNC router which will be a mainstay in the workshop. So a CNC router is basically a router on a spindle that can cut wood below it and I can go on my computer, design really whatever I want and then the machine will cut it out for me after I've designed it. The First thing I'm gonna be doing actually is the kitchen cabinets, but that's a future episode. So this thing's gonna open lots of possibilities and let's get back to the present. So this area whew, behind me right here is where I'm gonna put my big five by 10 CNC that I just got from Avid CNC, shout out to them. It is pretty freaking huge. I mean, five by 10 feet, that's like 50 square feet. I don't know what that is in metric, but maybe there'll be a little graphic right up there that pops up there and tells you. So once that huge machine is in place, it's gonna be really difficult to access those walls. So I'm gonna paint them now. And before we paint, we gotta power wash years of dirt off that stuff.
So this wall has a bunch of these, I, I guess you call them concrete nails. I'm not, not sure exactly what they're called. You can't really pull these out with a hammer or a pry bar. So got a diamond blade on the uh, angle grinder. Safety glasses, make a few sparks, knock these out. So now the question, why on earth did I not use a paint sprayer? I mean, they do cost a little bit of money, but the time it takes to do this manually versus all the walls and everything I got in here, it would probably be worth it, right? But let me give you the YouTuber answer. I kind of like the mortar peeking through the brick that you get when you use a roller on an uneven surface, but that's not the whole truth. Let, let me be straightforward with you guys. I'm in talks with a paint sprayer company and trying to convince them that they want to support this channel and sponsor some videos. Just being honest, it's a reality. I do have to make money. So maybe you guys can help me out here. If you'd like to see the paint sprayer company, support the channel, just leave a comment below. Use the word paint sprayer anywhere in that. I'm gonna send all the comments to the company, show them that this community is something that they want to be part of and support. Thank you guys in advance. Uh, let's, let's see if we can make this happen. Definitely got thrown a twist today. We had some tornado sirens go off last night. Apparently one touched down near here and we've got trees down everywhere. So I'm gonna say it's about 50-50 when I get to my car. It's okay given that the amount of stuff that is down here in the street. They got everything out of the streets here pretty quick, but man. <sighs> I am very relieved. The GTI is totally intact. We had a narrow miss. Some branches right behind it. Now, let's hope the building is okay. We're gonna take a quick break right here to talk about a long-term supporter of this channel and this video sponsor, Simply Safe, AKA US News and World Report's best overall home security system of 2020. If you've seen my past videos, you know I'm putting a huge chunk of my life savings into this building and I installed Simply Safe security system immediately when I moved in to protect my investment. And I've been super happy with their comprehensive ecosystem of devices from entry sensors, glass break sensors, motion sensors, water sensors, carbon monoxide detectors and smoke detectors, you name it. This time I wanna talk about one of my favorite features, the motion sensing video cameras. The cameras have motion sensors built in. They work day and night, even in the dark. I've got cameras set up to basically cover every inch of this property. I could just pick up my phone at any time open the Simply Safe app and see what's going on. Not only that, but if I'm away from the building and motion's detected or any other Simply Safe device triggers an alarm, I get a notification and a call from their 24 seven monitoring service. I can go onto the app and it tells me exactly where motion's detected. So I can go right to that video without searching and immediately figure out if there's a real emergency or if it's just my cat up to some mischief again. And like everything in the Simply Safe system, the video cameras are super easy to set up and add. You just plug them in, open your Simply Safe app, click add new camera, and it guides you through the rest. If you're interested in setting up a home security system that's just super easy to install or looking to upgrade your existing home security system, head over to simplysafe.com slash industrial and check it out. It's surprisingly affordable and there's no long-term contract so you're not locked in. When you sign up via that link in the description, you'll also be supporting this channel because you're supporting a brand that's standing behind what I do and really gets this community. Thanks again to Simply Safe, and now let's get back to the video. Come on, roof. Please be there, please be there. Pulling in. Gotta always turn the Simply Safe off. It reacts quick. <laughs> the workshop seems to be okay. The lights have been kind of flickering in and out, so I think we've got some, some power line issues. Yeah, just went out over there. All in all, I'll deal with some, uh, some electrical issues. Hopefully it's not anything internal here. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like a little fireworks show in the background. <laughs> Let's head upstairs here. Go check out the roof. Wow. I mean, it's so bright you can barely see, but everything is okay. I am, woo, so relieved. Since we dodged that bullet, now we are getting to something that, that I am super excited about. You might remember I mentioned that I'm gonna be having artists into the garage to paint murals and just make it into this amazing creative space. And I've got Kat here today. Uh, you might remember her from a few videos ago. She was helping with demolition and she is also an amazing artist. I'm really excited to see what she comes up with. Oh, and this might be a good time to address a question I've had a few people ask, which is like, why are you futzing around with art and stuff when you need to be upstairs working on that renovation? Well, we're moving things forward as fast as we can. I've got an architect working on it. We've got permits in with the city and we're just waiting on those to get approved before we can really go further with the reno upstairs. Hopefully a week or two, I'm told. So until then, we are making the best of it. And now let's go check out what Kat's doing over here. Cat is starting to throw some color onto the walls and I mean, it's just starting, but man, it's looking pretty cool. Check this out. And the full video of her making that painting, designing the whole thing, super cool. It's gonna be on her channel, so you'll have to go over there and watch it. So the last thing we gotta do in this video is to get that giant CNC assembled and installed in that floor space that we cleared up when we removed the staircase. Let's get on it. So I got a whole mess load of boxes over here. This is the new Avid CNC. Kind of nice because it actually didn't come freight, even though it's five by 10, they divide it up into a bunch of little boxes, but that means I got a whole lot of unboxing to do. I'm a little too proud of myself for this, but thought this was pretty clever. Hooked up a uh, projector screen, uh, project the instructions for the CNC onto the wall because there's like 80 gazillion steps and this is just going to make it way easier and not have to constantly be having three people going back and forth to the computer. By the way guys, that is JT. He is my buddy from here in Chicago and he actually makes these awesome little high precision woodworking squares in every color of the rainbow. I'm gonna plug him because he wouldn't plug himself and his company's awesome, DFM Toolworks. Check him out, I'm gonna link below. And now we're gonna get back to building the machine. We're actually fast forwarding a day and a half into the future. When the boxes got here, I did notice one of the boxes was damaged. We hoped there was nothing missing, but the linking pieces that connect the two halves of the sides were not there. So basically had to put a pause on it then. Now, unfortunately I'm solo. One bright side, I will say Avid, I called them. They got it out within a couple hours, shipped it overnight. They did an A plus job. Anyway, let's get to it. Son of a bitch, no! 
Oh, I nice. see it. Is it brown? <laughs> yeah, I come <feel> like. <laughs> Bart just dropped no, no, one of the bolts no, no. into oh, the sewer that's hole. Not, that's not her. <gasps> oh, God. By the way, guys, that's Bart Komar. He has a YouTube channel called Komar Project. He actually lives in Chicago suburbs. He's renovating his house right now on his channel. As soon as he gets his hand out of the it. sewer, you should check him out. <laughs> I got it! Oh. It is all assembled. Now I just uh, have to figure out how to use it, but it's gonna be fun. We're gonna use it to cut out the kitchen cabinets. And coming up, maybe in the next video, we're gonna start talking about kitchen and bath design, 3D models, all that sort of good stuff. And, well, let me just go upstairs and give you a little preview, come on. Behind me, you can see a lot of metal studs. Yeah, those are the bedrooms. Things are starting to take shape. This is moving. We're gonna start looking at that in the, probably the next video too, so make sure you're subscribed and bell. Follow along for all that. Make sure you're checking out all the other videos in the abandoned building playlist. Make sure you head over to Kat's channel and check out her video for this amazing painting. She was brave enough to let me make a cameo. I've seen the video, it's a ton of fun. I think y'all dig it. That's it for this time, and I will see you next time.